People who love life and who are always friendly and helpful are always greatly valued. She could look back contented. She has used her life energies well. Her life was a blessing for many people. When she felt that she was going to die, she lay down in peace. She lets go of her earthly body very naturally, and she passes over into the life of the spirit. Her feeling is no longer directed at preserving her earthly body. The energies of feeling are withdrawn from the earthly body and transcend to build the spiritual body. Because of this withdrawing, the working of the fluid cord, which forms the connection between both bodies, lessens. Her dying on earth is being born in the spirit. Just as with the earthly birth, the umbilical cord loses its function and is broken. The fluid cord is broken with the spiritual birth. How long it takes before the fluid cord breaks is determined by the speed with which the feeling can be withdrawn from the earthly life. This has huge consequences for cremation. Her fluid cord could break very quickly because she already felt and thought spiritually during her earthly life. Her feeling was already withdrawn from the earthly existence at the end of her life. The first thing which she sees spiritually is her deceased husband, who comes to collect her. He takes his wife to the spiritual sphere where they both now belong. Their sphere and their clothing is completely in accordance with their inner life of feeling. The spiritual environment reflects the light and the love that they feel inside. In the hereafter, these loved ones can connect themselves with all the life that belongs to their own sphere. They see their deceased child again and can live on together in happiness. They can now concentrate completely on their spiritual development. All life smiles upon them because they now ascend to a life of love. They get to know the spiritual spheres of light, which are inhabited by people to whom they feel connected in the same love. When they are ready for that, they will also visit the dark spheres, where the humans live who do not yet have any light within themselves.